Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Uh, Hey, we're continuing in 2 Samuel 19, uh, David's story. And can you think of a time in your life when you were shown mercy? You know, when you really deserve judgment and you really deserve punishment and instead you got grace and mercy. Uh, When someone had the power to hurt you and instead they blessed you. Uh, See, that's the story. David has been restored to king. Absalom has been killed. Uh, David is returning to uh, Jerusalem. All of Israel has proclaimed that he's the king again, because after all, David was their hero. And and as he's coming into uh, Jerusalem, as he's coming closer, the people who had mocked David and treated David with scorn and cursed David on his way out of Jerusalem come out begging for mercy. I mean, and there were a number of them, and their stories are recorded there, and you can read them if you like. But um, uh, it comes to the point where this guy who's, who's just been nasty to David uh, is there and he's, and he's exposed and he knows that David has the power of life and death in him. And, uh, and so David it confronts this guy and David's men are ready to kill him. So if you pick up in uh, verse 21, it says, Abishai, the son of Zariah, answered, Shall not Shimei be put to death for this? Because he cursed the Lord's anointed. So Abishai is one of David's mighty men. He's for David. And he's like, this guy's a dog. I just want to kill him right now. David, tell, give me the word. And he's dead. And here's David's response. But David said, what have I to do with you, sons of Zariah, that you should this day be as an adversary to me? Shall anyone be put to death in Israel this day? For do I not know that I am this day king over Israel? And the king said to Shimei, you shall not die. And the king gave him his oath. Now, that's just a snippet of the story. He goes on to show mercy to other people as well. This, was, this guy was just one, uh, one of those who received it. And, and here's the thing. Like David, choose to show mercy. I mean, Jesus gave us mercy. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Uh, Jesus' half-brother James said, mercy triumphs over judgment. Why do we want to be people of judgment? Why do we want to be people of condemnation? Let's be people of mercy. Uh, I made a decision a long time ago that if I'm going to make a mistake, I'm going to make a mistake on the side of being too merciful rather than being too condemning. And, and you know why? Because nowhere in Scripture do I ever see God condemning someone for showing mercy. And so if I'm the first, I'll be okay with that. But, uh, but I want to be a person of mercy because we follow a Savior who is merciful. In fact, the only reason we have hope today is because of the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ. So today, choose to show mercy, the same undeserved mercy that you have received. I hope that makes sense. And I know if you follow it, it'll bless you. Have a great day.